welcome back to another cylinder head video again in this case this is a 12g 940 head just put some guides in it uh, it's in for a refurb so obviously yeah, it's got to be cleaned and surfaced and everything uh, this is a very early Richard Longman head 1233 27 cc's in the combustion chamber but this is quite unusual because it's an inclined head so I don't know if you can see that the platforms are not actually square with the head I'll try and get some different angles to describe that but they're inclined that way which I'm going to see with the chamber in a minute and if I, I don't know if you can make it out from there that they the guides are actually angled back towards the rockers. So uh, this was something that people did back in the 70s um, just to make the ports more efficient. And also, also to make the combustion chamber a better shape. So you can see there that the valve is angled. As we move on to the chamber, it makes the majority of the volume around the plug because it's effectively a wedge shaped chamber that you're creating. The chamber is shallower here, deeper here where the plug is, where the majority of the mixture is, so it should burn quicker. But also you're reducing the short side angle here because the valve is not actually upright, it's angled towards the port. So there's less angle for the flow to turn before it gets into the chamber. So this is the head face. Uh, these valves, as well as being inclined, they're actually offset further apart. So this is a 37 inlet and a 31 exhaust, a 37 and a half inlet, 31 exhaust. And you can see there's still a gap between them, although it might be slight. So uh, inserts have been put in to move the exhaust valve guides over and away from the inlet so that there's more space for those valves. Uh, it's difficult to see the incline. You might be able to see it there in relation to the head face. And also what I've got here is a bubble uh, gauge from the Surdy. So that gives you an idea that the head is reasonably flat. And then if I pop it on a valve, you can see that it's quite a long way over. So this was something they did back in, well this one was done in the 70s. Uh, this is about 1200 number from Richard Longman. Um, so that's quite an old head, you can see also that the sleeves in the pushrod holes are actually offset to make sure that you've got the most amount of space for the port across here. And the ports are quite big, that's why it's a bit wavy with the camera. So, thanks for watching. That is another quick video of something interesting.